wherever you came from. Do not try to match yourself against me. I will fight until one of us is defeated. The only defeat is death. I've looked at death before. You young fool. I have looked at death for centuries. For how many centuries? Since which century? It's only a manner of speaking. Give up, Raxel. You've lost. I never lose. You're facing someone who can destroy you. Destroy me? <laughs> yes. Even you can be destroyed. You foolish young thing. You're mad. You hear voices and laughter. But it's all in your mind. In your head. Because you I can read your mind. How do you know what I can hear? You can read it, eh? I'm beginning to read your mind, madame. Why are you shrinking away from me? Let me out. Your name isn't Raxel. And your name isn't Susan. What is it, then? You said it once before. Now say it again. Maybe then I'll remember what your name is. When you remember it, you die. Do I? Or do you die? Finally. together as though we'd, we'd known each other before. I, I don't understand it. You and Raxel? That's hardly likely, is it? No, she, she knows more about me. She called me by another name once, and then she apologized. I know she's more than just a servant. Well, it's not Raxel that I came here to talk to you about. Oh, I, I think I know. Oh, is it that obvious? Well, to me it is. <laughs> I want you to be the first to know. Perhaps Raxel's the first. Well, what did she tell you? She said many women have loved Jean-Paul. Well, he was married before he came to Desmond Hall. I know that. He's hidden nothing from me. Are you sure? Well, yes. We've been friends since... Well, since the night you came here. Don't play games with me, Susan. No, I I'm not honest. Well, then why are you talking about all the other women Jean-Paul's loved? Because I, I care what happens to you. You're plunging headlong into a, to a future you don't even know is dangerous for you. Don't be so sure, Susan. To do? Where do I turn? Our enemies surround us. Don't leave the burden in my hands only. Help me. Send me an ally. Send me an envoy. Braxel? Where is Philip? I never see him without you at his side. He does not confide in me. Braxel. He has turned you against me. That is not true. He is trying to help me as you are. He draws you back into the past, Master. Have you not borne enough sorrow from the past? Do not forget that I know the past. It follows me everywhere I go. I want to shield you from its influence. Does Emily Blair belong to the past? She brings information from the past that can only lead to death. As it led to death long ago. So you know 
about that document, that missing document that was in her briefcase. What I know is to protect you from the past. And is the past my future? You will have no future if you forget the past. Think, Master. You made an agreement in Mount Jardin. Yes. I made an agreement. Then leave the past to me. Rexel. I, uh, I have no time now. Where are you going? I must go on an errand. I'll talk to you when I return. Don't expect to find any help in him. Oh? What do you know about him? Very little, actually. But I find myself staring at him often, too. It's almost like he's trying to tell me something. And what does he tell you? Nothing. It's just that behind that inscrutable smile, I sense a promise of something. Don't look for promises in portraits of dead men. Who can I look to, then? Well, certainly not portraits. Court, you're much too eager to want what will be yours in time. If it'll be mine in time, why not now? <laughs> because you'll have to wait until you're 25. And then the property that is due to you and is held in trust will be turned over to you. I'm tired of waiting. Well, the years go by faster than we think. I'd give anything for them to go even faster. Now, don't say that. We take from life without realizing that life pays us back for our impatient greed. Is it greed to want what life owes us? No. But it is greed to demand what we think that life owes. I know only too well the price that one has to pay for demanding what we think life owes us. Why have you come back? There are matters to settle. We must hurry. Really, you can't just burst in here at any time and expect me to drop everything. Like the candles. Well, do as I say, like the candles. Powers of darkness, O oh, spirit of night, step forth from the shadows. Take my hand. Give me what I ask. Give your servant, Irene Hatter, what she asks. He hears. Return my master to me. Do not leave me without a master. Do not sentence me to death. Keep me alive by providing me with the... What's the matter? Why have you stopped? I must be alone. But you're speaking to my spirit. It is our spirit now. You too can speak to it alone when you have a private request. Be careful. The powers of darkness do not like intrigues between their servants. Leave us alone, I say. You tempt them to destroy you. I cannot be destroyed by the spirits. They need me. But I can bring destruction upon those who stand in my way. Now go! We are alone. Power of darkness, bring back Jean-Paul Desmond to me, or replace him with another. Restore my link to your star. Choose my master for me. Do not leave me without a master to serve. Send me an instrument to follow your wishes. I beg you. 
You know, really, you should try to accept what life brings you and be grateful for it without impatience, without greed. Is that what you do? Just count your blessings that you don't dread the coming of each night. <laughs> What's the matter? What is it? out searching for the totem. Oh, well, I think it's here in this house. No. Orenda would have led him to it. Look, why don't you get Raxel to admit that she took it? She took the document. We can't be sure of that. But Philip found her with it. No one saw her take it. Why do you defend her? I'm defending her because she defended me when nobody else could. By stealing and lying? She's done more than steal and lie for me. She buried the girl I killed. I won't listen. You've got to listen. You saw the grave, Emily. You've got to understand. Raxel has kept from others crimes that I have committed. I cannot abandon her now. Then you're bound to her forever. She hasn't bound me to my fate. But she binds you to herself. All she has to do is walk into a police station and lead them to the grave she showed me. No, she wouldn't do that. She might, if she turned against you. Yes. I'll make friends with her then. That's all we need. After we're married, I'm sure, you and she will come to terms. What did you say? I just proposed. And I accept. I want to know your opinion about something. You flatter me. No, I'm serious. Oh, well, come in then. You know so much more about everything than I do. Is that what you wanted to tell me? Don't joke. I want to know about the portrait in the drawing room. What do you know about it? Less than you do, probably. After all, it's hanging in your house. But it wasn't there before you came. What do you mean? Well, my mother found it one day up in the attic and brought it down there. That night, you appeared at the front door. No one ever told me about it. When I asked Laszlo about the portrait, he he said, ask the little newcomer. I think that's what he called you. He said that you would recognize the face. Did I say that? I wasn't there. This is just what Laszlo told me. Well, sometimes I, I do see faces I think I recognize. Do you know Jacques Elwa de Maud? No, but I do know he lived centuries ago. But you recognized his face. He just reminded me of someone I once knew, that's all. Who's Claude? I don't know. Well, that's what you called me the other night. Well, I, I must have been confused. Uh, I knew someone named Claude once, but I can't recall when or where. Well, that's not very much help. Well, I'm sorry, but that's, that's the best I can do. I think all you want is attention. Why do you say that? We're both alike, you and I. We like to be in the center of things. But people around here keep putting us aside. That's not true. And I don't have to listen to your silly ideas. Hey, wait a minute. I was only teasing. Through this totem, 
step between my master and my enemies. Lead him back to me. Through this totem, separate him from those he has turned to. Through this totem, step between Jean-Paul and his cousin Philip. Through this totem, connect my master with his star once more. Or through this totem, bring your star to a new master. Through this totem, step between my master and Emily Blair. Keep from them the knowledge of the past. Separate their lives, O oh spirit. Emily, what is it? I'm just something strange. I, I feel like something's trying to warn me. Against me? Does Raxel know that we're to be married? <laughs> well, how could she? I didn't know until you accepted. She didn't want you to marry Helen Raleigh, did she? Raxel feels that anyone who marries me is doomed. No, oh, that's nonsense. She may be right. Erica died. Oh, what does it matter what Raxel believes? Once we're married, nothing can come between us. Nothing. I know that. This totem is to be used by no one else, do you understand? It links our spirits to us now. It will guard your wishes and keep your powers with you. Do not lose it. Be careful. Court, what do you want? I've been looking for Raxel. How did you know I was here? I didn't. I guessed. Well, since you apparently didn't come to visit me, I'll leave you alone. What did you want to tell me? I want you to give the totem back to Emily. I can't do that. It's no good to you. Let me be the judge of that. I will not have my entire future jeopardized by your jealousy of a girl that is going to marry Jean-Paul. They will not be married. Pretty soon, Philip will know that you have it. Wouldn't it be smarter to return it now? And then no one will know who had it. He has lost the totem forever. What do you want with it anyway? I want it to ensure the future of the master of Desmond Hall. Are you waiting for someone? I'm still worried about Philip. I don't know where he could be. Emily, um, please forgive me for the things I said. Don't be angry. Oh, I'm not angry. I am baffled, though. Yeah, sometimes I baffle myself. But uh, I wouldn't do anything to hurt you. You must believe that. And I want you to be as happy as I am. I'm afraid this house lends itself to unhappiness. Oh, no, it isn't the house that separates us. It's ourselves. No, it's, it's more than that. There's an inner presence that, that feeds upon our unhappiness. It sets us each against the other. Did you want to see me, Master? Yes, Raxel, I have something to tell you. Miss Blair and I are going to be married. I hope you will be very happy. But love has always brought you misfortune. Oh, Raxel, can't you be pleased for us? When do you plan the wedding? Well, we haven't set a date as yet, but it will be soon. Is that all, Master? No, it isn't. Emily thinks you don't like her. I hardly know the girl. Oh, Raxel, you're an older and more experienced woman. You can make some sort of effort. I'm sure that you'll find that she's a really nice girl. I will do my best. She will do hers. Once you get to know each other, you will be friends. If she trusts me, Master, then I will trust her. <laughs> it's not a very cordial greeting. I'm sorry, I thought you were Jean-Paul. 
No, he's upstairs cross-examining Raxel. That's a rather uh, dramatic term, isn't it? Well, you know me. I often give in to dramatic exaggeration from time to time. And then Raxel does arouse a great deal of curiosity. Miss Blair, if you want to ask questions about me, I suggest that you ask me rather than others. I didn't know you were there. I don't like to be gossiped about. Do you? I apologize, you're right. If you're to uh, marry into the Desmonds, you must accept their nature instead of demanding that we conform to yours. Is that why you stole the totem? I, I don't know anything about a totem. And what about the document you took that I brought from Boston? I didn't take it. I found it. But it was in my bag. Not when I found it. How can you deny things that we all know to be true? They are going to be married. And I will not be the master of Desmond Hall. We will find a way. Go. Leave me. I must think. I have served you well for 300 years. I have always found a Desmond for your purpose. Now help me. Find a new master who will save me from the fires of hell that have waited for me for three centuries. Ah.